I'm going to give you guys details on Festival of the Lost for 2018, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Garnet Watcher. So today, I wanted to go over what the Festival of the Lost for 2018 means for us Guardians, and no, it's not just a whole bunch of new masks to wear. But before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered in the Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass giveaway for November, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. So, the Festival of the Lost will be returning and it will begin next week, Tuesday, October 16th, 2018 at 1 p.m. Eastern, and it will end on November 6th at the same time. This event will be available to all Guardians, regardless whether you have the Forsaken or not. Unfortunately, our good friend Eva Levante will not be making a return to Destiny 2 just yet, and there will be no Trials of the Lost either. Instead, in Eva's absence, Amanda Holiday, aka the Shipwright, will be taking Eva's spot as the host for this event. The tower will be changed to suit this event with the familiar Festival of the Lost engrams as well as the Violet Candles, and a small shrine will be in the tower as we spawn in. And this will happen similar to how the Solstice of Heroes event was. There will be new triumphs available for us to earn, and Amanda will have daily bounties that will award us with Fragmented Souls. These Fragmented Souls will be the currency needed to buy the new legendary auto rifle called Horror Story, as well as the Festival of the Lost Masks. As of this video, there is really nothing much to say about the new auto rifle due to it not being in a system just yet, so there is no information to be data mined on it. Plus, DestinyTracker.com doesn't have any information on it either. But besides this, there will also be a new activity called the Haunted Forest, which this activity takes place in the Infinite Forest, but it has a little bit more of a creepier vibe. We'll have 15 minutes to go as far as we can inside the Haunted Forest, but the deeper we go, the harder it'll be. This event will allow players to either solo queue, match make, or go into it with a pre-made fire team of three. There will be a new engram called the Ephemeral Engram, and we will receive one each time we fill our XP bar after you have achieved max level. Now, we'll be getting this engram in addition to the Steadfast Engrams, which will award us with Double Bright Engrams. Naturally, we'll be able to decrypt these engrams through Tess Everest at the Eververse, and Tess will also have some new inventory, including two new ships, two new ghosts, a new sparrow, as well as two new emotes. But there is more to the Festival of the Lost than just masks, an auto rifle, vehicles, ghosts, Eververse inventory, and a new activity. Closer to the end of the festival, we will have to avenge another friend named Master Eves. Details on how he was struck down will most likely be given to us in-game. Now, this will probably either be given to us as a quest in bounty form or on the director itself. This quest will begin on October 30th, and I'm assuming it will be at 1 p.m. Eastern Time as well. And that's pretty much it for the information on uh, the Festival of the Lost for 2018. Yes, this video was short, and I apologize for that, but this is technically all of the information that Bungie has released to the public. I'm just happy and excited that Bungie is rolling out new content slowly, but you can't complain because it's there. And it'll definitely be hard for the casual player to absorb it all, but definitely give the hardcore player a new challenge to face. So, are you guys as excited for the Festival of Lost for 2018 just as much as Eugene is? I mean, look at that face. It screams excitement. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.